Well, with me in studio to discuss the matric results coming out, the social development spokesperson Lumka Olifant. Well, welcome to AN and Seven to the Morning Prime, and thank you for joining us. Let me start by asking you: We do know the matric results is coming out. What was your experience this year in uh, in association with the last years? What has differently happened this year in regards to matric contacting you and wanting help with the matric results coming out? We've just opened the line yesterday, so we are going to just uh, find out what's happening today, who is calling and what are the calls that are giving us. But previously we found that um, parents also made use of the line because they wanted to know how to handle their own children, how they can be also be assisted, what are the signs and everything else. But learners themselves were using it uh, to speak to social workers. And what advice do you have for students to regulate the anxiety that they must be feeling before the results come out? It's only natural that people will feel anxious, uh, but we're saying that uh, they're not alone. Uh, we know that uh, depression creeps in at this time. We know that some uh, learners do commit suicide. And we, we want to start saying to them, they, this is not the end of the world. If, if you do not make it or you do not get the desired results, um, you know, you can have a second chance. As we know, the basic, uh, Department of Basic Education has a program for people to uh, uh, write again their ex examinations. So we are saying it's not the end of the world. Speak to a social worker. We are there for you for 24 hours um, so that you can be, make, you know, just just speak to somebody uh, and, 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 and not feel that you are alone. It is such an exciting time as well for the matriculants. They must take it all in. But let's look at their families and their friends and the community. How can they support these learners for the results coming out? Um, I, I think we've also stressed um, that it, the line is also opened for parents because we know that uh, parents are also just as stressed uh, with, uh, with, with the anticipation of the results or when the results come out. Uh, you know as well the Department of Basic Education had done away with publishing names of, of pupils. I think also that has also assisted in the, you know, in the burden and, and people knowing whether you have passed or not. So we are saying to communities, we're saying to, to parents and families to support their children. And if you see any sign of, of, of uh, that is out of the ordinary uh, of your child not behaving why they, the, the, the normal way they used to they normally behave they don't eating they're not doing uh, this they, 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 they prefer to be alone so we're saying that please uh, support them please don't take anything lightly we cannot disregard the fact that children do get depressed do get anxious also parents as well uh, you know their children are going uh, to the adult world their others are going to be moving provinces they're going to different institutions it's going to be a new environment new everything for for, for, for everybody else others won't uh, would be worried about tertiary institution fees and um, we are saying that uh, all those can amount to very stressful families also depression for, for young people who don't know where they are going. I also want to remind our social grant beneficiaries, as we had said at the beginning of the year, that we are working with our National Student Fund uh, Aid Scheme, where we have done away with the means test for our grant beneficiaries. So if you have passed well, if you have been accepted, if you have applied for financial uh, aid uh, through NASFAS and you are a social grant beneficiary, you know that you are going to get assistance. And you have spoken about the contact line that people can call in, but what other steps have the Department of Social Development taken to help matriculants or after they have gotten their results to help them then so that they can further their career or they can go further in studying to get a better result next year perhaps? No, the, 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 the line is, is, is a 24-hour line. It's a professional service. So we understand uh, the issues of psychosocial services. Remember, there are things that the Department of Social Development can do. There are things that they cannot do. The, uh, the most that we have done, I've just explained to you, especially for those who are our recipients of, of social grants. If you've done well, you know that uh, you are going to get uh, assistance uh, through other forms of social protection. And what other options are there for those matriculants that, that did not achieve what they wanted to achieve in the matric results in regards to going to university, if they have not achieved the results that's needed to go to university, what else can they do? 
I think um, the, the, I think it's, it's very important that you speak to the Department of Education about their program. The Department of Social Development is the Department of Social Development. We are not in higher education or in basic education, but we know that there is that second chance program that the, the Department of Basic Education does have for those who do not uh, make it. And you've spoken about your telephone line. Can you please just give us that line so that the matriculants are watching at home or their family or parents, so they can just tell their kids, if you are not feeling well, if you need some assistance, please call this line so that they can help you. The number to call is 0800-428-428. 0800-428-428 or you can dial star 120 star 7867 hash star 120 star 7867 hash uh, for a social worker to call you back. You do not have to tell us where you are if you don't want to tell us our, uh, our service is able to geolocate where you are and if we need an emergency we are able to send it to you. And if you have any advice for these matriculants going into next year and maybe starting to work, going to university, it is a total change. What advice could you give to those kids? All the best for, for the future and I cannot stress more that we have about 188,000 uh, social grant beneficiaries who set for matric this year. We are saying that all the best to them uh, may uh, uh, you know, uh, be successful in, in the future you know, endeavours.